Let's start things off with North Korea's latest provocation. Four missiles flew about 1,000 kilometers before coming down into the East Sea. The South Korean military says they're unlikely to be an intercontinental ballistic missile. In other words, the type Seoul and Washington are most concerned about. Kim Hyun Bin at the Defense Ministry has our top story. The South Korean military says North Korea fired off four ballistic missiles this morning. North Korea fired four ballistic missiles into the East Sea from its Tongchangni missile site at 7.36 a.m. on Monday. The missiles flew around 1,000 kilometers at an altitude of 260 kilometers. Seoul and Washington are currently analyzing the launch. A defense ministry official says that the missiles could be a mixture of mid-range rotor missiles and Pukuksong-2 missiles, which are an upgraded version of the North Intermediate Range Mustang ballistic missile. Japan announced that three of the four missiles fell in its exclusive economic zone, and one came within 250 kilometers of Japanese land. The South Korean military has condemned the launch. It says it's on high alert and maintaining readiness for additional provocations. North Korea has launched another ballistic missile following the launch last month. This is a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions and an attack on the peace and stability of South Korea and the international community. North Korea launched an intermediate-range ballistic missile on February 12th and its first provocation of 2017. On Friday, the North had threatened to launch more missiles in response to the annual Key Resolve and Full Eagle drills between Seoul and Washington. The large-scale field training drills called Full Eagle started last Wednesday, and the command post exercise Key Resolve will start next week. It's common for North Korea to fire missiles during the drills, which are set to continue through April, and experts expect the North to launch several more missiles through then. If this latest launch is confirmed, it will be North Korea's second ballistic missile launch this year, and the second since President Trump took office. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.